Hello everyone, this is Dave from Dave's Resend Things. Today I am joining forces again with my dear friend Nadia from DIY with Nadia as she hosts another Wreathathon. Today's theme, bright summertime. Here in Canada, it's been raining for about a week and a half, so I am pretty much looking forward to seeing all these bright summer colors and what my fellow YouTube creators have come up with for this summer wreathathon. All you have to do is as soon as you finish watching my video, just click the link right down below that's going to give you a playlist and then you just click on the next video, watch that, click on the next one, watch that, and so on and so forth. Why don't I just get started and I'll show you what I came up with. I am using this decorative board from the Dollar Tree. I have these two floral green foams. I don't end up using them. I'm going to use a whole bunch of greenery here you see and some florals as well, those white tulips. And of course the star is our lemons today along with some ribbon from Michael's. This is yellow and white, and then of course I've got some black and white ribbon as well. And I'm gonna be using this felt roll and my usual cutting utensils and my glue gun and glue sticks to create this project today. The first thing I'm going to do is cover that decorative board with some felt. Now these are, I can't remember what the length is. I think the length is 42 inches. And they fit perfectly right around this board. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hot glue it down in a couple of areas right at the edges to make sure it's all nice and secured around that board. So again, I'm just using my hot gun. Really, I'm just doing this pretty quickly. Nobody's going to see it. It's going to be covered with our greenery and all of our florals and everything. But I just wanted to cover the board with something. So I'm covering the sides, gluing those down, and then I'm going to fold the ends like you do with a present. Just kind of fold it in, fold it up, and glue that all in place. Once that's done, my board is all nice and covered. And eventually I do cover that back portion as well. You'll see that a little bit later on. Now I'm going to take off all those annoying tags. <laughs> I don't usually have a lot of luck with them, but I'm going to cut off all of my stems as well, along with these leaves, just cutting them down to a more workable size. And here you can see I covered both sides of that board with the felt. And I'm going to use this one side here, and I'm just going to do a quick dry run just to see where I want everything laid out on that board and this is going to be the first layer of my greenery so i'm using these i don't even know what you call them it's like a a leaf branch i guess and i found these at the dollarama and i loved them i have so many of them now i just love working with these they add so much color and so much volume and i'm just gluing them down in place first i start at one end work my way to the other end and then i start filling up the middle and once that's all done, I have my first layer of greenery already. And then it's time to add those beautiful fern leaves in there as well. And I'm using these fern leaves to pretty much cover up anything that I see from the black felt. So I'm just adding them here and there, kind of underneath the leaves, just kind of incorporating them into all of those leaf branches, making sure I cover that black felt board that I had covered previously. Then I'm gonna cut some down a little bit smaller and glue those right in the center. And then once I'm done that, I have my second layer all complete. I just love how these two ferns and the green leaves come together. We've got a dark green and then a light green, which adds a lot of interest to our swag. I'm making my ribbon now. I am using six different patterns and sizes so i have two and a half inch and one and a half inch it's a total of 16 pieces at 24 inches now you can use all one ribbon or two ribbons or whatever i just decided to do a multiple pattern ribbon so for my first loop i'm just going to fold it in half then i'm just going to squish it right in the middle and then I'm going to put it in between my two fingers where I have the loop at one end and the tail at the other end. 
I'm going to do the exact same thing with all the rest of my ribbon, just folding it in half, squishing it in the middle, and then placing it in between my two fingers. And I just keep doing this for each one of my ribbons. I'm doing the two and a half to start, and then a little bit later on you'll see that I do start using and adding those one and a half inch ribbons as well. I'm not measuring here. All I'm doing is I'm just kind of seeing how it goes and, you know, playing around with it in my hands as well. But they are, every single piece that I have used is 24 inches. And like I said, I'm just folding them in half, adding them to my hand. And of course, if your hand does get a little crampy, you can use large paper clips or anything like that to create this bow. And after I've added everything, I'm gonna tie a cable tie right around where my fingers are, making sure I have all my loops in there. Then I'm gonna take a twine, just cut that at a random length, feed it through the cable tie, cause I haven't tied it tightly just yet. And that's what I'm gonna use to attach my bow to my wreath. So I find my center point, and then once I've got that twine in there, I'm gonna give it a really, really good pull to make sure that's all nice and secured and my ribbon bow is not going to come undone. And here we go. It's a little messy right now, but we'll fix that up in the end. I've got all my tails at the end. And to finish off those tails, all I'm gonna do is do dovetails. So all you have to do is fold that ribbon in half, cut on an angle, open it up and you have that beautiful dovetail. And I'm gonna complete this for every single ribbon. And once I'm done that, I'm gonna start just fluffing up my bow a little bit. Not too much, cause it will get squished a little bit later on. But here we are with our beautiful bow all ready for our swag. Let's bring that back. And then we're gonna add that bow right in the middle. And I'm just gonna figure out where I want it to go. Once I have the placement, I'm gonna flip it over, tie that right at the end, and secure that down with a little bit of hot glue. And I'm also gonna use a spare piece of felt just to cover that rope right at the back so you don't see it. It's just an aesthetic thing, it's not functional, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I just wanted to cover it up so you don't see it. And now we have our bow all right in the center. It is a little squished and I'm just gonna fluff up those tails a little bit and I'm gonna fluff up my bow a little bit here. Of course, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that one of my addictions is fluffing up bows. I will do it forever in a day. <laughs> but there is our beautiful bow and now we're ready to add our florals with these tulips. These tulips are white. I wanted a little bit of brightness because you can kind of see it's a lot of gray not gray, sorry, a lot of green on the two ends. So I thought the tulips would add a little bit of brightness to it as well. And of course, we are going to add those lemons to the wreath, but I just wanted to add a little bit of white in there, and these tulips were perfect. I did three at one end, two at another, and then I'm just going to chop off the stems of my lemons, and then I'm just going to start gluing them in place very randomly and I do love these lemons with the leaves. I think it adds a lot more color and a lot more texture and of course how can you not smile when you see a lemon? It's just so bright, so yellow, so colorful. It totally makes me feel like summer is right around the corner and it is. <laughs> just finishing off with adding a couple more of those lemons in there. I'm going to take a look at my wreath swag, and I just love how this turned out. We've got our six ribbon bow, which is yellow and black and white, with our lemons and our tulips in there, along with all of that greenery, with our fir leaves in there, just adding so much color, so much depth. And I have to say, I am in love with that bow. It just screams fun and funky. <laughs> Here it is hanging on my studio door. I just love how this turned out. It's huge, it's long, and it just screams lemon summer sunshine. <laughs> and as well, you can just lay this down on your table and use it as a summer centerpiece for the next barbecue that you're hosting for your family 
or friends. Such a versatile lemon swag for your door or for your table. Don't forget, click on that link right down below to take you to the playlist for the Summer Wreathathon hosted by Nadia from DIY with Nadia. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun making this lemony swag. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.